Welcome to the Sun Salutation, my peoples. So the Sun Salutation is a great uh, series of movements and poses that you can do in the morning that will give you more awareness of where your body is to start the day. Uh, how I'm going to teach this is a basic form, uh, basic forms, and it's gonna I'm gonna add in things that will help you to release and open up your joints and just gain more awareness for the day. So let's come in. Uh, let's get started. So first thing you want to do is you want to just set up. Usually you can have a mat, carpet, grass, whatever works for you. Settle in. Take a nice deep breath. In, 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 inhale through your nostrils. Exhale through your mouth for the first couple of breaths. Shake out. And I want you to notice how you are standing. What's your footprint? Notice how all your toes are, notice what toes are connected. Notice where the weight of your feet is, the weight of your feet are. When you inhale, we're gonna open up the hands. So open up the hands out to the side, bring your hands together, and then exhale down. Okay, we're gonna do two of those to start off with. So as you inhale up, hands together, exhale, down the center channel of your body. Inhale up, hands together, exhale, down the center channel of your body. Now, we're gonna get into the sun salutation now. So as you start to exhale and bring your hands down the center channel of your body, press your tailbone back like you're bowing to someone. You're most likely gonna feel your hamstrings here start to get a little uh, active, great. If you need to bend your knees a little bit more, feel free to do so. As you press your tailbone back, bow down, Keep bringing your hands down to the ground. Bring your chin into your chest. This is called your forward fold. You can hang out here. You can even pedal, which means you're gonna bend one knee, straighten out the other, okay? Here, just hang, connect. You can also get blocks here. If you wanna to connect to the ground, you can bend your knees more. From here, again, we wanna keep our legs as straight as we can. And if you have to have a slight bend, so be it, all right? Now from here, just focus on lengthening your spine. So almost like your stomach is resting into your thighs. And then we're gonna take a nice big step back with your left leg to start off with. Curl your feet under for this. Again, this is a way of opening up our joints. You're gonna to start to lift your torso. Hands are gonna come onto your right thigh in this situation. All right, just inhale, stay here for a moment, breathe. You're gonna feel a nice stretch along the left, uh, left hip and left thigh. As you're here, focus on pressing down through your uh, left foot and down through your right foot to engage your lower body. You can also inhale, bring your hands up to the sky to extend the expansion. Now, as you're here, we're gonna exhale, bring your hands down to the ground, start to walk yourself back, okay? And now your right leg is gonna go straight. You can have your blocks here, or in this case, I have my hands on the ground on my fingertips, and you can just extend, start to move, windshield wiper your feet here. That's gonna open up, open up your hip capsule, okay? Now, as you're done, you're gonna slide, inhale, slide forward, place your left hand down, and then you're gonna lift your left knee off the ground. This is where we're gonna to start to open up our spine and twist, so you're just gonna open up, bring your right hand up to the sky, inhale nice and big, okay? Good. Exhale, bring your hand down, Lower your left knee down to the ground, and then bring your right leg back to your left. This is gonna be a modified tabletop because our base is a little bit wider. Curl your feet under, exhale, knees come up to the, hips come up to the sky. Into your downward dog, okay? Pedal out the feet. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna lift. We had our uh, right foot forward, so we're gonna lift our right leg. Bring that right leg all the way up to the sky as high as you can. And while you do that, press the ground away. We're gonna bend at the knee, open up our right hip. You're gonna feel your glute engage. Keep both arms nice and straight. Roll around your ankle. See if you can roll around your hip. Just expand and reach range of movement. Exhale, come down. 
Inhale, lift up the opposite leg. Reach, open, okay? Reach and open. You keep extending through your arms. Come back down. We're gonna inhale, slide into your plank. You can get push-ups here if you like. Okay, now we're gonna inhale. This is something called chaturanga. So shift your body forward, lower down. Flatten out your feet. Inhale. This is our up dog, okay? Now, if you wanna intensify this, you can lift your knees off the mat. Come down. Now, lower down, so as you're here, start to lift the hips up, curl the feet under, and now we're gonna bring our left foot forward. Okay, we're gonna reverse, we'll go up the hill, then we're gonna go down the hill. So in that case, we're gonna reverse the order of what we did on the other side. That means we're gonna place our right hand down, lift our right knee up, open up. Okay, press through your right hand, the landed hand, the rooted hand, press through, Press through your fingertips, reach high. As you exhale, lower the right knee down, and then we're gonna extend our left leg. Windshield wiper the leg, open up the left hip capsule. Good, and now we're gonna slide forward. Hips go forward, bent left knee. Pressing your right knee down to the ground, right foot pressed into the ground, and also pressing down into your left foot. Hang here, feel this stretch, shift the hips forward. If you feel like you're here, I just want you to lengthen up your torso a little bit more, maybe even squeeze the glutes back here too. Once you're done here, exhale, hands come down to the ground. Inhale, bring your right leg, leg, leg forward. Get a couple breaths here. Then inhale, hands come to your thighs, roll up into a nice tall standing position. Okay? All right, so that's the first side. Now we're gonna go to the other side. So we're gonna reverse the order now. So this time as we inhale, inhale, okay, you can also get a little bit of a back bend here. So shift your hips forward, inhale, rise up, press through the fingertips, hands come to the center, lower it down the center channel of your body. These are energy centers. So as we're bringing our hands up to the sky, we're gathering energy. We're like summoning energy from the earth, bringing it up to the sky, and then we lower, exhale down, appreciate yourself as a vessel, okay? Now, as you inhale, hands come down to the center. We're gonna go into our forward fold, hands down here. This time, because we had our right foot forward first, this time we're gonna have our left foot forward. So we're gonna step back with our left, or with our right knee, okay? Right knee comes down. Nice and tall, okay? Now from here, we're gonna slide, exhale, slide the hips back. Stay, stay at each of these poses for about two breaths, or whatever feels good. You may stay there for five or six or 10, who knows? Just, and then start to pull, start to press on the gas. That's another one too, to really open up. As you inhale, slide forward, right hand goes down onto the ground, lift your right knee up, Extend, as you extend, press that heel to the back of you. Inhale, open up, okay? Breathe, and as you open up, focus on bringing your shoulder blades together, almost like you're exaggerating this. Exhale, come down, lower the right knee down. Left knee goes back. We're going to curl the feet under, go into our downward dog again. Okay, remember now the left, since the left leg was forward this time, we're gonna bring that left leg up nice and high. Heel, press back, engage your glutes, and then we're gonna bend, open up. Breathe here. Inhale, come back down. Exhale for a moment in your downward dog, and then we're gonna lift our right leg up. Reach, press through, and bend, open. Breathe. Exhale, come down. Slide into your plank here. Again, you could do your push up or whatever calls you. We're gonna do our chaturanga here. So you're gonna lower down, flatten out your feet, lift up, and you can lift your knees off. Exhale, lower the knees. 
Come back, curl your feet under. And now we're gonna step forward with our right foot. Now remember, we're going down the hill, so we're gonna reverse the order of what we did before, okay? So as we plant our left hand down, we're gonna extend the left leg, open up. Now you may find this leg that's landing wants to creep out. Do your best to keep it still, keep it engaged with your belly here, okay? Foot toes down. As you exhale, slide back. As you inhale, move, gas pedal. Inhale, slide forward, hands on the right thigh. Exhale, start to shift the hips. Feel, you can even get some twists here if you like. Good, and then exhale down to the ground. We're gonna step forward with your left leg, hands, inhale, whew, yeah, and feel. Just notice what your body's feeling like. You can lay flat on your back in what's called uh, Shavasana, like best of the meditation pose, just to feel the energies that have moved around. This is a great one to do in the morning. Let's give it a go. Peace.